Africa is a continent made up of 54 countries, each with its own unique set of challenges and issues. However, many African countries do face significant challenges related to violence, conflict, and crime. So what is this case? In this video, we'll be talking about a topic that is often brought up in discussions about Africa. Why is Africa considered the most deadly country in the world? It won't be accurate to say that Africa is the most deadly country in the world. The reasons for this are complex and multifaceted and include issues such as poverty, inequality, weak governance, and the presence of armed groups. One of the major causes of violence and conflict in Africa is poverty. Many African countries have high levels of poverty, which can lead to social unrest and criminal activity. In addition, poverty can also be a driving force behind the recruitment of young people into armed groups and criminal organizations. Another major factor contributing to violence and conflict in Africa is weak governance. Many African countries have weak institutions and lack effective systems for maintaining law and order. This can lead to a lack of accountability for crimes and human rights abuses and can also create opportunities for armed groups and criminal organizations to operate with impunity. In addition, many African countries are also affected by the presence of armed groups and criminal organizations. These groups can be involved in a wide range of activities including drug trafficking, extortion, and the illegal trade in natural resources. Their activities can fuel violence and conflict and can also create significant security challenges for governance and communities. Furthermore, Africa has also been affected by the presence of extremist groups, particularly in the Sahel region, the Horn of Africa and the Lake Chad Basin. These groups have carried out attacks on civilians, military and humanitarian workers and have spread fear and insecurity in the affected areas. It is also important to note that Africa has also been affected by civil wars, ethnic and political conflicts which have displaced millions of people, created food insecurity and resulted in the death of thousands of people. Another issue that is contributing to violence and conflict in Africa is the lack of economic opportunities. Many African countries have weak economies and high levels of unemployment particularly among young people. This can lead to frustration and a sense of hopelessness, which can fuel criminal activity and recruitment into armed groups. Additionally, economic insecurity can also drive people to engage in illegal activities such as smuggling and poaching, which can also contribute to violence and conflict. Another important factor that contributes to violence and conflict in Africa is the lack of access to education and basic services. Many African countries have poor educational systems, which can limit the opportunities for young people to acquire the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in life. In addition, many African countries have also poor healthcare systems, which can lead to high rates of disease and death, particularly among young people. Another major contributor to violence and conflict in Africa is the lack of good governance. Many African countries have weak institutions and lack effective systems for maintaining law and order, which can lead to a lack of accountability for crimes and human rights abuses. This can create opportunities for armed groups and criminal organizations to operate with impunity and can also fuel social unrest and violence. Climate change also plays a role in Africa's security challenges. The continent has been affected by prolonged droughts, floods, and other extreme weather events. These events have led to food insecurity, displacement, and increased competition over scarce resources, which can fuel conflicts and exacerbate existing ones. Furthermore, Africa's population is expected to double by 2050, and with it, the demand for food, water, energy, and other natural resources will significantly increase. This can lead to increased competition over resources and potential for conflicts to arise. It is important to note that these issues are interconnected and must be addressed in a comprehensive and holistic manner. Efforts to address violence and conflict in Africa must focus not only on addressing the symptoms of these issues, but also on addressing the underlying causes. This will require a long-term and sustained commitment from the international community as well as African governments and civil society organizations. In conclusion, Africa is a continent facing many challenges related to violence, conflict, and crime. These issues are complex and multifaceted and are given by factors such as poverty, inequality, 
weak governance, the presence of armed groups and criminal organizations, lack of economic opportunities, lack of access to education and basic services, poor governance, and the impact of climate change. Addressing these challenges requires a comprehensive and holistic approach that addresses the underlying causes and sustained commitment from the international community as well as African governments and civil society organizations. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.